Welcome back here on the Wingate Sports Network. Home half of the first inning on tap here from Ron Christopher Stadium. Here's a look at the defensive alignment for the Mars Hill Lions. Ray Carolina in left, Tommy Scala in center, and Philip Carroll out in right along the infield. It's Dalton Eisenbath at third, Evan Rogers at short, Lance Edwards at second, and Dylan Powers over at first. Christian Stampler is behind the plate, the battery mate with the starter, the lefty, Andy Runyon. The redshirt senior out of Prince George, Virginia, making his eighth appearance, seventh start. He's 0-3 despite a 266 ERA on the season. He'll take on Three Shane down, Billings and this Wingate center. lineup here Shane in the bottom Billings. of the first. We'll give you a full look at that Dogs lineup in just a moment here on the Wingate Sports Network. There it is. Billings leads off. Colby Barnett bat second. Thomas Spitz will hit third. Josh Clark, the cleanup hitter. Bradley Brown will hit fifth. Bill Krebs moving up to the sixth spot today. Brad Cherry at seventh. Blake Prince eight and Michael Godinez is batting ninth. Shane Billings ready for the first pitch from Runyon and it's a fastball that misses high. One ball and no strikes. Billings with that 424 average leading the league with 50 hits, 41 runs and his 12 stolen bases. He swings and lines one out of play to the right side. Billings had a 31 game hitting streak that dated back to last year. Snapped against Anderson. Went 0 for 7 in the twin bill but both of them were seven inning games that snapped it. He swings and lines went out of play. This is his league leading 119th at bat here this season as he's behind one and two. There you see Billings whose numbers have dropped a bit. He's two for his last 22 at the plate dropping his average from an even 500 down to 424 as he watches this one miss inside. Runyon really wanted that one as he fell off the mound, but it's even at two balls, two strikes. Yeah, good pitch. Probably Billings, you think Billings looking off speed there, but buries a fastball in the hands of the lefty. And a pretty good pitch, apparently just off the corner. Runyon comes back to 2-2. Tapped foul left side. And Billings just got a piece. See a lot of good downward movement from Runyon out of that left-handed delivery. As you watch his reaction here after what he thought was strike three. Well, bended knee. Now he comes back with the 2-2 two -two for Shane Billings. Inside, they're gonna say that clipped his jersey on the way through. Billings will take that. That's the easiest hit by pitch you'll ever get. As that surely didn't touch Billings. It just nicked his jersey, but that's enough. The second hit by pitch Billings has received this season as you'll watch it again. He tries to get out of the way, leaning backwards. And it just catches the flap of gold hanging down over his midsection. It was trying to go back in where he just missed on that one-two pitch, just a bit too far in for Runyon. And now the speedy Billings, Billings on it first for Barnett, who had a big home run in that lander win on Wednesday. Here's a pitch to Colby. First pitch swing and line drive right side over Carroll's head. He reaches up and makes the catch. And that's a nice play by the right fielder, Carroll. As he takes one away from Barnett, Billings will retreat to first. We'll see what Billings can do on the base pass against the lefty Runyon. Billings is 12 of 13 in stealing bases. Hugh, you did mention he's first in the conference in stolen bases as we watch this defensive play again, turning around to a nice leaping catch over the shoulder by Carroll out there. Carroll, the junior, making the catch. And now here's the senior, Thomas Spitz, as he watches the first pitch miss outside. One ball and no strikes. We've talked about how good Thomas Spitz has been. He's reached base in every game this season. And he's scored a run in seven straight games, including 12 runs in those seven. As he watches this one miss low, and it's two balls and no strikes to the senior out of Westchester, Pennsylvania. There's the rest of his numbers, 363 on the campaign. 10 home runs, 42 runs driven in, yep. and 41 runs scored. Leads the league in all three categories, tied in the run scored category with Billings on it first. And there's a check by the southpaw over to Billings, who retreats back to first base. And Spitz also has added 10 stolen bases in as many attempts. So pretty, uh, pretty solid all-around numbers for the senior preseason all-conference selection. Got a hitter's count here. Runner going. The pitch is high and away, a double clutch by the catcher, Stampler, and no chance to get Shane Billings, who slides into second base 
with his 13th stolen base of the season. Yeah, got a good pitch to throw on for the catcher and just couldn't quite squeeze it correctly and find the seams. Pretty good jump by Billings. Might have been a pretty close play if not for the double pump, but once he did that, it was he could have almost gone in standing up. And now way behind 3-0. And they won't even bother with Spitz down the chute. They'll miss wide with that one. That'll put Thomas Spitz on. So a hit by pitch, a fly out, and now a walk. And Wingate has a little rally going here in the first. You watch the jump by Billings. Striding away from first, and then yeah, it's a really good take. You can see that ball was still not even out of the pitcher's hand, and he was almost halfway there. And the one hop, it was a pretty good throw, but the double clutch nowhere near in time. So now with two on and one out, Josh Clark will be the batter. Clark, a 352 hitter this year out of the cleanup spot for Jeff Gregory. He's had a uh, good week. Came in in the ninth inning. He was getting a night off on Tuesday. Came in and hit a big RBI double down the right field line to help Wingate score that five runs in the ninth and then a three-run homer against Lander in the first inning on Wednesday. And he had a good weekend at Anderson as well. His 22nd start of the year at catcher is the 1-0 pitch. Lifted out of play right side. That's been a theme so far today as you get a look at Josh Clark's numbers. The 35 RBIs right there atop the conference. 25 runs scored as well out of that cleanup spot. That tells you how well-rounded this Wingate lineup's been. Wingate trying to strike first here in the bottom of the first. They've got two on for their cleanup hitter, Clark. Lefty-righty matchup, Runyon. His 1-1. Fouled out of play again over our heads. And that'll run things to one ball and two strikes. Runyon getting ahead. Yeah, a really good speed on the base pass. If Clark was able to find a gap, he does have 10 doubles this year. You'd think that Wingate would be able to score a couple. Their two fastest players are on base. Billings was hit by a pitch. He's at second. Spitz walked. He's over at first after receiving his 12th free pass of the season. Now Clark fouls another one off out of play just to the right of us that time. But he looked a little bit closer on that one. Good job staying alive. We know Josh Clark has good power to all fields. When he gets down to the count, does a nice job of going the other way. That's what we saw him do in Tuesday night's pinch hit at bat when he put one down in the right field corner in a similar spot. He's got nine RBIs in his last four games. Here's the one, two. Misses high. That'll run things even. Two balls and two strikes. You mentioned the doubles. Josh Clark has at least one extra base hit in four straight games. One here would probably bring in two runs. That's the 2-2. Two -two. Fly ball right side again, twisting foul out of play. Heading towards the Mars Hill bus, and that'll land in the parking lot. Yeah, Runyon keeps staying away, and Clark keeps going with the pitch. Good battle so far. This will be the seventh pitch of the at-bat. We get no stranger to first inning runs this season. 40 of them so far. Runyon ready with his 2-2. Swing and a miss, he got him. Runyon put a little extra on it, went above the letters. As Clark swings through it, that's the first strikeout for Runyon, and that is a big strikeout. Keeps the runners right where they are and gets through the cleanup hitter, Clark. Just climb the ladder on him. Clark battling, going out of the zone for a couple of those pitches, so it goes a little too far out of the zone there. and Just missed. It's a big second out for Runyon. Sets up the lefty-lefty matchup against the freshman Bradley Brown. Tuesday night's hero. This will be the 19th pitch of the first inning for Runyon. As it misses inside to Bradley Brown, 1-0. Brown, 337 hitter here on his freshman campaign. Four home runs, 31 driven in. Already earned sack player of the week honors and a Dactronics regional player of the week honor here so far. The 1-0. Bouncer back up the middle. This could get through. It's by Edwards into center. Being waved around as Billings. The throw from Scala will be cut off. It's an RBI single for Bradley Brown. Spitz will stop at third, and the Bulldogs have a 1-0 lead here in the first. Number 14, Bradley Bill Brown Prince. driving in his 32nd run of the year as Shane Billings comes around from second to touch the dish with ease 
and Spitz with his good speed gets to third. So now Wingate will have runners on the corners. Yep, not the hardest hit ball of the year, that one. A little sinker that he just gets enough of, puts it in the right spot. And with two outs and the ball hit that softly, Billings easily scores and Spitz easily to third as well. Pretty good plate coverage there by the freshman as well. Able to get to the inside corner on a lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup and bounce that back up the middle. So now here's Bill Krebs, who swings at the first pitch, lines this to center. That'll fall in for a base hit. Back-to-back -back RBI singles for the Dogs with two outs here in the first, and it's 2-0 Wingate. First baseman number 42, Brad Cherry. So the two players tied atop the conference in runs. Spitz and Billings both score here in the first. They both now have 42 runs scored on the year as Krebs wastes little time doing what he's been doing all week pretty much. That's why he got moved up a spot in the lineup. And he takes advantage on the first pitch with the RBI single. I was going to talk about how hot he's been lately. He didn't even get a chance to. Nope. Has that average up to 325, now it'll go higher than that, gets the RBI, and Shane Billings enjoyed the outright lead in the run category for maybe a minute. If that, Cherry watches the first pitch in. Cherry, through no fault of his own, finds himself sliding down the lineup here. It's been the outstanding play of Bradley Brown and now Bill Krebs in the last week and a half. Krebs riding a six-game hitting streak, make it seven now. He's got eight extra base hits in his last six games. Cherry flies this one down the right field line. Long run for Carroll, and it will land in foul territory. Pretty good stroke to the opposite field there for Brad Cherry, but all it finds him is down 0-2 in the count. Pretty big carry on that ball, too. Runyon trying to get out of this first inning with limited damage. Wingate two runs already home. And a couple of two-out RBI singles, some clutch hitting from the Bulldog. Five, six hitters. There's Krebs at first, who just doubled the Wingate lead with his single back up the middle. Now the 0-2 to Cherry. Misses up and in. Cherry, a 289 hitter this year. A couple of home runs to his credit, 19 driven in. And Wingate's ability to produce runs with two outs continues to impress. Wingate now has 83 two-out RBIs this season. The one two tails inside and there you see the left-handed Runyon with a lot of natural movement to that fastball as many southpaws do that time too much break on it runs the thing even to two balls and two strikes Wingate two runs already in here with two down runners at first and second Brad Cherry the senior trying to keep the inning alive here's Runyon ready with his two two Misses in the dirt, and a nice block behind the plate by Stampler as things run full. 26 pitches now for Runyon, half of those for strikes. So now yeah, the runners yep. will be off and moving here on this pitch with three balls and two strikes. Not as great a speed on the base pads as there has been in this inning. But yeah, well, with the runners moving in the outfield playing deep, a uh, hit certainly scores Brown from second. Runyon's 3-2, there go the runners. A nice job to stay alive by Cherry, extending to that outside corner and fouling it off to the right side. A good job staying alive. Brown didn't get the greatest of jumps out there at second on the 3-2. No one's come close to holding him on ever since he yeah. got to second base. He, sh he could. There you see the defensive alignment for Marzil that Hughes talking about. He could easily double up that lead and basically start going whenever he wants to. Well, as you say that, they will spin back and watch him back to <laughs> second. There's nobody there to receive the throw. Moved. Yeah, they're still. So now the 3-2 coming again to Cherry. Swing at a ground ball. It's short. Pretty hard hit, but Rogers stays on it. The throw over in time, and the side is retired. But Wingate strikes for a pair in the opening frame. They send seven to the plate. Score two runs. RBI singles from Bradley Brown and Bill Krebs as he takes the first pitch of his at-bat and lines it into center to drive in Thomas Spitz and give the Bulldogs a 2-0 lead through one inning here from Ron Christopher Stadium. <laughs> 